Get excited, chosen one. Get excited. You should be very excited because after all the torture, after all the torment, after all the spiritual warfare, after all the the gang stalking, after all the cruelty and hate crimes that was committed against you, that saga, that nightmare is over. That portal, portal that you were in, that you were flung or thrown into without any warning, without any caution, you're, you're stepping out of that. You should be excited, though, because now that that phase is over, that phase of gang stalking, harassment, you know, abuse of witchcraft, right? Because that's what gang stalking is. That's what that's what occurred to you. Everywhere you went, people hated you. Everywhere you went, people wanted to fight you. How do you know it's gang stalking? Because everybody has the same spirit and attitude and behavior towards you. Because a witch had programmed the environment in such a way where people would feel a certain way about you. This is their attempt to, this was their attempt to off you. That was their attempt to completely demolish you, wipe you off of the face of this earth, but you're still standing. So you should be excited, even though you still have battle scars, you still have wounds that you need to lick and and tend to, because sometimes you patch them up, but they end up busting open again from time to time. And that's okay because that's what life is about. That's the pain and the beauty of life. You should be excited because you know how people actually are now. And I've reiterated this so many times. This is very important though, especially especially as God is ushering you to the next phase and chapter of your life, especially as God is ushering you to your season or chapter of glory. This is the part of the story that shocks the character in the movie. It's the part of the story where the character has been through hell and back and they're they're standing on the top of the mountain with their fists raised in the air and triumph and victory after everything in life was set out to destroy them. You're not quite there yet. You're in the in-between phase. You're in the phase where you you just got out of the warfare, but but you're not quite where you want to be yet, which is fine. Everything that you learned, the way that people acted towards you, people were extremely cruel and cold towards you. Some people were being body snatched. It's the it's what was in the air, right? The witches, the warlocks, they program programmed the air. Whatever is in the air, if your spirit is not strong enough, you will catch on to it and you'll start to behave as the spirits want you to behave. Some people who were rude, mean, and nasty to you, who tried to take you out, they were under siege by spirits. They were overtaken. Their vessel was overtaken by a spirit. They call it, they call it body snatching. Some people actually felt the way that they was acting towards you. And it shocked you to the core because it was like, whoa, you didn't know that so-so-and-so, the friendly neighborhood so-so-and-so, your coworkers, your family, et cetera, et cetera. You didn't know that they actually felt like that about you underneath the surface. So now that things are coming back to normal for you, people are going to try to get back to normal. Some people don't remember how they acted towards you. Some people do. Some people are too ashamed to and prideful to apologize. Some people genuinely don't <laughs> remember how they treated you. Which is why when celebrities, they get, you know, all this fame and whatever. And, you know, the people who hated them, they're their biggest fan base. Because some of those people, believe it or not, they don't remember how they treated you. They don't. But some people do. 
because that's how some people actually felt. And the environment had to be uh, programmed a certain way so that you could be initiated. That's the beauty of initiation. You cannot go forward in life. God couldn't give you all the riches, fame, and wealth that you so desire without you knowing how people are. And that's why you should be excited. Because once you have gone through that level, that phase of initiation, where you feel like the rug has completely been ripped from underneath your feet, from beneath your feet, and everybody's treating you like trash, like you don't mean nothing, like you a dog. Like you ain't have, when you know, you God stripped you of everything when you was going through that, when you was in that portal. God stopped your emotion just so people could really show how they feel about you. Because some people only love you when you got motion, when you got something going on for yourself, when you have a job, when you're able to afford things, and when you're able to buy people things. When you wasn't able to buy people, think people treated you how they actually felt about you. And this is your parents. This is your sisters. This is your brothers. This is your niece. This is your children who turned against you because you couldn't afford to buy them things anymore. You learned so much throughout the initiation. You learned that love is conditional. Love is conditional. Even even by the people who are the closest to you, love is conditional. And so you have a lot to be excited about, despite how painful the experiences that you went through were. You have a lot to be excited about because the people who fucked you over, they're about to do a 360 because God is going to do a whole 360 on your life. On your finances, on your physical appearance, on your living situation, like you're going to be completely unrecognizable. And the people who didn't want to recognize you, the people who turned their face from you when you was on your knees, groveling for food, groveling for money, groveling for a place to stay with your hand out, they're going to want you to look upon them anew with a new set of eyes. They're going to come to you smiling. But when you was down bad, they looked at you like a peon, like a pauper. They looked at you as if they wanted to spit on you. Get out of here. Beat it. Beat it, chump. Get out of here. You ain't nothing. Those very same people's about to come in your face smiling, laughing, bubbly, congratulating you. They're going to act as if nothing happened, as if they didn't act in nasty, disgusting ways towards you. They're going to want to re-enter your energy by using small talk and, you know, little stupid uh, conversations and things like that. Asking you stupid questions and things like that just to get a conversation out of you. Because for some of you, you decided to be completely done with the people after when people showed you who they was you obeyed god and he was like you know what i'm not talking to anybody anymore you completely went silent on everybody and you wiped everybody out of your heart as you should as any normal person would but now those very same people are gonna want your heart to smile upon them and it's a no-go and they're going to pretend that they don't know why. They're going to pretend like, oh, like, why? Why is so, so, and so act? Why is the chosen one acting like this toward me? And like I said in the beginning, some people don't remember because their body was snatched by the demons that the witches had unleashed in your environment. Some people do remember how they treated you, but they was too prideful to apologize they are too prideful to apologize some of them will never apologize and admit to what they did to you and how they treated you and how it made you feel but the good thing is that they don't have to apologize they don't have to apologize because you don't need them anymore 